Welcome in. It is 623. Glad you're with us on this Wednesday. You're never more than 10 minutes away from your local weather on Action News. Now let's check in with Patrick. You know, Patrick, I had to peek up in the attic, which is normally hot, but recently it's been really hot, especially in the attic. So I uh, don't want to return to those attic temperatures, but it's going to feel like the attic and the rest of the house pretty soon. Yeah, we're going to see temperatures reaching the low to mid 90s across the valley for at least several days in a row. That is about 10 to 15 degrees above average for this time of year. Looking outside right now, the mornings are quite the opposite. They are feeling rather cool, if not mild. Temperatures in the lower to mid 50s. This is from the Red Mountain uh, camera in Glen County. We have Orland in the distance here right in this area with Chico off behind that and the sunrise looking rather amazing this morning. As I mentioned, temperatures in the low to mid 50s across the valley, some upper 50s sneaking in onto the map. Some of you may need a layer to start the day that will be completely removed by this afternoon and evening. Upper 80s for parts of the mid valley to around 90 degrees in the north valley. Some light breezes may make those temperatures bump up to that 90 degree mark, therefore warmer than the mid valley. But it's going to be hot for some today. Here's what we have when it comes to the future cast. A few high clouds passing through today. Not much expected with that by 5 p.m. And tomorrow, very similar. Just a couple high clouds here and there. We have a ridge of high pressure building in and that's going to clear the sky and heat us up. This is what we can expect for the next couple of days. You, you will have to crank the AC or avoid the attic because temperatures will be in the lower 90s for at least the mid valley to the mid 90s for the North Valley and a cool down is not expected until at least this weekend, which I'll break down later on. For now, this is what we can expect for the next seven days. 93 degrees at for two days, Friday and Saturday and heading into Reading mid 90s, but we do have a cool down on the way. I'll break that down coming up in just a few minutes.